from the Bronx, New York, world's middleweight champion, Jake LaMotta. Suddenly cutting loose in desperation, trying to land the one big punch which will turn the tide. Robinson rolled and slipped, about to see Robinson land a low left and draw on Teal. The title is on the line, but Lamata is far behind on points, going into the 15th and final round. Lamata has won only some. Dottil, a good boxer puncher, has beaten Lamata before, back in 10-round decision. And tonight, only has to last the round. The overconfident Dottil moves in for the finish. Jake Lamata suddenly opens up. Dottil knows he's been fooled and tries to hold and run. But Lamata, always devastating inside, won't let him get away. It's Lamata to the body and to the head. Against the ropes, Dottil is in trouble. Steve Valois and Charlie Zivic. But tonight, Lamata has come on. Both men blaze away. It's a real Dunnybrook. But Lamotta rallying from the brink of defeat knocks Dottil down and almost through the ropes. Scores a dramatic knockout over the very capable Laurent Dottil. It's Jake Lamotta, one of the greatest... Manipulate his opponent. You see the nice body shots by Jake Lamotta here in round one. Throw it from different angles. Look at the 16th, December 22nd. And on Christmas... I'm in the face of Lamotta again. Lamotta wants to load up. Second to the fifth round. It's been a good fifth round. But a fourth and fifth round. Ray Robinson. Right hand. He caught him with a light right hand. Good right hand that time. Robinson. Now it's that Ray Robinson took of his own. Back side. Really circling to his left. Takes that quick one. That Robinson came back on Boxman and threw him. Pulled his that left jab right in the face. Coming up to the closing portion now of round number eight. Bank finish from both sides. I've got Ray Robinson out, and Robinson has really taken command here. As I said, the life of Marcel. Kid Gavilan type bolo punch, but never does throw it. And you see Lamotta trying to finish this fight off. What courage! He lands the right hand. He nails him with the left hook, and on the left hook, the right hand. Look at this! Thanks and for Jake Lamotta. This is the best round he's had since back in the East. A modern puncher. There is a beaten man, a hurt man. His ribs have got to be broken. A great champion. Yeah. They like to wade in, throw plenty of punches. Amada's left eye, see? The crowd roaring, they, they've never seen such fast punches. Amada's got Murphy against the ropes, trying desperately for a knockout. Idiom. Murphy in the white truck. But look at him go, hitting Murphy for all he's worth. That's Lamotta in the dark trunks. Hairston in the white. Lamotta, nicknamed the Brock. Just a few seconds left to the round, and look at Lamotta go. He didn't take a punch, too. He's never been knocked down in his entire... Old parking lots in New York, and Hairston was one of his parking lot attendants. There's the end of round three. Very little clinching. Yes, he was. There he goes. Not much time left. Look at Lamada go. He just took a few from Hairston to let Gene become careless. There's the end of the fight. A year and a half before, most of the fight experts have said, but if Jake can beat Hayes tonight...
The crowd is roaring. This was another great... Jake LaMotta wins a unanimous decision. See if he gets a chance. Jake is doing the opposite, digging for the body. check myself on that time. There it is. 16,000 fans. Comeback by Lamada. Murphy looks out on his feet. He hasn't got over. Murphy can hardly stand up. The crowd screaming for a knockout. Lamada. He always does. Jake Lamotta, the winner by unanimous decision.
A good combination. Jake all over Billy Kilgore here in round three. Here in round seven, it's still anybody's fight. Jake comes right back, ripping punches to Billy's body and jaw. It's all Jake here at the end of the 10th round. What a turn. Winner, Jake Lamada. The winner by unanimous decision, Jake Lamada.